What up, everybody? This your boy, Young Shoddy. Hey, um, today is Monday, June 7th, 2010. I was just looking on the news, and I found out that the same people who made Toyota sticking gas pedals have made Chrysler's sticking gas pedals. All in due fact that Chrysler Chrysler has filed a, a major recall against their Dodge Calibers and their Jeep Compass. These are 2007 to present models, and they claim for it to be about 35,000 cars is currently on the road. What they, what they say is take it to a Chrysler dealer or a Jeep dealer and get the gas pedals fixed. In which, if Toyota has had issues, what do you think Chrysler's going to have? They're going to have worse issues. And because, because, I think all Chrysler's going to get is worse. Chrysler is going to get worse. Just like Toyota and Mazda and Nissan. I have, Lord, even though I've seen plenty of Nissan commercials, I have not seen a Nissan on the road for the longest. And then, even though I've seen a couple of Mazda commercials, I have not seen anyone with a Mazda. Except that cute boy from Time Out Youth, he is fine as fuck. But he haven't been there in a long while, so. It's just a thing. So, this was my question about this sticking gas pedals with Toyota and, and, and Chrysler. If they say, what kind of perspective is people getting from the what kind of where is you getting this perspective of the of the people who claim that the sticking gas pedals in Toyota cars and Chrysler's is a danger? Hell, you ain't you must not be talking to the to the to the criminals who wanna get out and have to get any car they can. They end up getting a Toyota Camry or a Corolla or something. Or, uh, now who in the fuck would get a Dodge Caliber or a, or a Jeep? Those are the most conspicuous cars on the road. Minivans and little SUVs and shit. Those are the most conspicuous things on the road. And I don't know why the hell would someone dumb as fuck gonna get a, um, is going to is going to rob somebody, kill somebody, and do what have you, and take uh, and take a minivan or a jeep. So let's just leave it at Toyota Corollas or Toyota Sienna. Sienna is a is a minivan. Um, Toyota Camrys and Corollas and and shit. So, yeah. Now, if, now here's what, now here's what the experts say. If the gas pedals stick, they say if you have a gas, if your gas pedal is sticking, first of all, get into the right hand lane closest to the emergency lane. To those in left-handed countries, Hong Kong, Jamaica, or someplace, or England or something, get into the extreme left-hand side where the emergency lane is. Now, what needs to happen is that they say if you're using a manual, you have to put your foot onto the clutch and put it into neutral. 
and then the and then take your foot off the clutch. Now, now for some cars, I've 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 been learning how to drive stick. I've only learned how to draw a stick for about two minutes and thirty seconds, and I then I said, "Man, forget it. It's time for me to watch EastEnders." So, when we went from when we went from first gear to neutral, the car went dead. After you, after you, after you put after you push the clutch in, put the little dicky to um neutral. Take your foot completely off the clutch, and most likely, if your car is old, it'll stop. Or, if you're like most people who drive automatic, automatics, um, that here's what they say put your foot onto the parking brake. That's what they say for the manual too I forgot to put that in there and pull off to the shoulder of the road put your hazardous lights on and put the car in neutral and turn the engine off anyway but hell just call 911 emergency and tell them that just 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 for instance on this phone, I dial 911, and then I say, Police! Um, oh my god! Uh, I'm on I 85 heading towards Concord, and I'm driving a Toyota Corolla, and the dang gas pedal none stuck. Can you get the sheriff's department or something, or someone to come and stop me? Something like that, honey. They won't. They most likely won't do it to a black person. They'll give you a ticket, moreover. But they'll. But they will come out and do it for for white people and white diaspora. These people do not care about us. All they care about is giving tickets. And hell yes, they will give out a ticket to a black person that has an issue with their sticking gas pedal. And then called 911, told them that the gas pedal none stuck. Guess what the hell they gonna do? They gonna pull them off the road. Then they gonna keep them on the road. Lay out spike strips. Blow up the tires. There'd be a big blowover. Maybe a conflagration. Then they gonna stick that black ass with a ticket. I tell you what. Now, what I'm saying is that I think all Japanese cars are great cars to drive. It ain't like it ain't like they're in it ain't like they're in like like Toyotas are in bad shape or Mazdas or Hondas or or Subarus. I didn't say Kia or Hyundai for a reason. Kia's and Hyundai's are from South Korea. Here's what they say. If you're close enough to the border where you're close enough to get cars from Canada, get the cars from Canada. But here's the thing about Canada, about Canadian Hondas and Masters and Toyotas and shit. They use the metric scale. We use the customary scale. While we're doing in miles per hour, they're doing kilometers an hour. Shit. I don't understand can I don't understand how to write down all this I mean how to do all this metric crap. My phone can only do so much. I was just wondering what would happen if your gas pedal got stuck in your Honda or Toyota or your Chrysler or your Mazda or your Nissan and or or something? Just send me a post message or whatever. 
I'm hearing Shoddy saying, Honey, if your gas pedal stick and you didn't stick it, you need to get off the road, call your Honda a Toyota or a Chrysler dealer, and tell them that you need to send that thing in. That fucking thing is a lemon. I'm Young Shoddy. Peace.